Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, and welcome back to this edition of Jenna Eats Things and Drinks Whiskey. Um, I got to come up with a better name for that, so I'm going to leave that to all of you brilliant minds out there to come up with a fun and cheeky name for this series of pairings and delicious bites and delicious whiskey. Um, so if you think of any good ones, drop them in the chat because I'd be curious to know what you think this should be called. So we are here for a very exciting night. Um, it's whiskey and chocolate night, which I have been waiting. I mean, this has been like months in, in the works and I'm so excited that it's finally here um, to taste through three different society whiskeys, which we'll get into here in just a little bit. And then uh, chocolate, but it's not just any chocolate. And, you know, when I was kind of digging into this project and I was like, you know, I definitely want to do whiskey and chocolate. That's like a classic pairing. And I was like, I want something fun and I want something different and something unique. And so I'm like, I'm digging all throughout the Googles, all throughout the interwebs to try to find the coolest chocolate company. And I found them. And I'm so excited that they're here with us today to taste through these delicious bonbons that have been torturing me for a week on my desk. Um, and so we're gonna open this box up and taste through what's inside and match it up with our whiskey. But, uh, but before we do that, I did want to remind everyone that this week is free shipping week. And so um, free shipping on everything. And that ends on Friday at uh, 12 midnight Pacific time. So uh, do take advantage of our free shipping week. It is something that we do um, only once a year. So take advantage of that. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and we're happy to answer those. So um, with all of that being said, I am just so ready to drink whiskey and eat chocolate. So um, it is my great pleasure to bring on Victoria Lastly from Bon Bon Bon. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. How are you? I am uh, even better than I was earlier because I get to have whiskey and chocolate. Yes. Yes. I, I am right there with you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So before we kind of kick off, I did want to say hello to everyone who is in the chat. I know we had quite a few people who pre-ordered bonbons ahead of time so they could taste with us, which is really exciting. So um, yes. I just wanted to say hi to everyone. So hello, Wes and Ernie. Uh, Ernie, he actually emailed me earlier today and sent me a picture of his bonds with his whiskey, which is very exciting. Um, we have Malty Alti here. Steven says that my thing is peanut M&Ms and whiskey. Guess I'll ask wife to pick up some bonbons. Yes, and we'll <laughs> tell you how to do that. Um, yes, we'll give you the full yes. instruction. Exactly. <laughs> and we have Jeff from Massachusetts. Whiskey and bonbons are ready. So I guess Jeff did the pre-order too. And Charlene from Kansas City. We have <laughs> Stuff for Work from Virginia. Hello. And wow, Denver, Oklahoma. We just we got a whole a whole group here tonight. We so, reached a um, great crew. We did. We really did. So I'm I'm super stoked about this. Um, and I want to stop talking so we can get into opening <laughs> this box. So I guess yeah. before we do that, yeah, can you just tell us a little bit about who is Victoria? And how did Victoria get to be, you know, bonbon slinger? You know, uh, I was just a loyal customer of Bon Bon prior to uh, my education was in pastry. And I was like committed to Bon Bon chocolate. Every time they would go to our local markets here, I was like, I am getting there right now. And then I saw a job opening and I said, it's me. So that's how <laughs> I became a part of Bon Bon. Truly, it was from trying them, eating them and being like, I have to be a part of this. I yeah. have to be a part of something so good. And it's so close to me as well and part of the community. So I said, that's it. I was signed, sealed, delivered the moment I had a bond. So <laughs> yeah. That's kind of like me with where I am now. It was, exactly. I was a, a member, a huge fan of the society. And I had this amazing opportunity to join the team. And I was like, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's, yeah. that's going to be me. I'm going to do that. Yeah. So sign yeah. me up. I'll, I'll take Ex it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So where, so for, for those who don't know, uh, where exactly are you located? Where where do these delicious bonds, and we'll get to exactly what a bond is here shortly, but where, yeah. where are these made? So we are just in a suburb outside of Detroit in Michigan, uh, in Hamtramck, super small. Um, we started in 2014 in the back of a Coney Island, just making bonbons. Uh, we were <laughs> not a storefront. 
by any means Alex Clark, who's the original Bay Bay Babe, is kind of our title here. Um, and she started in 2014. It just grew so rapidly. And then by 2015, she had a storefront in Midtown Detroit. Here we are in 2022, just expanding and growing larger. That's amazing. Yes, really cool. Yeah, that is a, a very cool story. So, yeah. um, well, can you tell us what what is a bon, what is a bonbon? I mean, yeah. So traditionally, if somebody you're asks see, me, <laughs> well, I don't even know what I would bon say. <laughs> what is a bonbon? What is a bonbon? So a bonbon, it, you traditionally see them um, in a shell, a full shell. So you're not used to seeing them open faced, which is what bonbon does differently. Um, so okay. when you will get to that, you'll get to see that in a moment here when you open up your box. But traditionally, you see like when you go into a chocolate shop, you're going to see those really shiny, um, typically rounded shells. That's oh, a bonbon. Okay. And there's stuff inside. Of... Typically. Yes. Yep. Typically. Okay. All right. So it's a shell stuffed chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. All right. Well, can, can we... Mm -hmm. I have more questions for you. And if, if anyone out there has any questions, you know, for Victoria, please, um, you know, do throw this in the chat and we'll be sure to ask her. Um, but I know I have more questions for you, but I have one open this box. I can't wait anymore. Okay. Let's get into it. All right. So All right. So here it is. Your box. Yeah. You're going to have a belly band is what we call it. So that little rubber band, please reuse that. We want you to reuse that. Use it on something. Hold a cord. Do whatever you want with it. Reuse it. Yes, exactly. Put your, up. <laughs> put your hair up. Might hurt, but put your hair up. Um, <laughs> and then you get like a little cutie sticker with that too. That's like part yes. of on is that that um, on your sticker, you actually have Pudge Frowny, that little sad guy. Oh, <laughs> his name is Pudge. And uh, you'll see him on a bond coming up here. So oh. along, yeah. <laughs> so you'll see on that pink tape, you're going to see a little um, a line where you're going to want to cut that. Exactly. So just All go right. ahead and just give that a little cut. And then your box is actually going to open up kind of like a, like a book, a little bit like a book. Oh, let's see. Yeah. And in our shops, every, not beyond you guys being shipped, but oh. in every one of our shops, you are going to get a custom box exactly like that, depending on however, how much the quantity you receive. Exactly. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> And then each one of our bonds is individually packaged as well. Uh, a really thing, like a thing that Alex really wanted to um, make clear in her chocolate making, like when you get a traditional box of chocolate, you have no idea what you're biting into most of the time. And you have to do that yeah. weird, like, guess from the pamphlet, hope that you get it right yes. type deal. Yes. Uh, and so every one of those little boxes is actually labeled with their flavor, their components. And then if you check that side of that box, you go ahead and pick one up, Jenna. Tell me which one you get. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna Tell pick me up, who's I guess. A... Pudge. Pudge, you got Pudge. So flip yeah. that over and tell me whose initials are on the side of that. Ooh, that is a I don't Can know whose it? initials are those. That yeah. looks like a J to me. But every one of our packages is individually signed off by who has oh. quality checked and and made sure those bonds are perfect. So that got it. Sense a of, W. Oh, is it a G? Maybe it might be a G. <laughs> but yeah, we have a, a G. yeah. Every one of those is signed off uh, on our little box. We call him Boxy. So on his side, you can actually see he's a little tiny box, and you can kind of see his arms open. That's going to teach you yeah. how to open that individual box. So okay, you can see him All right. kind of. You can open him like that with his side. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, before I, I, I open Pudge. Yes, yeah, so let's pair we, the ones that we should. Yeah, let's let's dig into the first. Shall we just get into it? I mean, we might let's as well, do it. right? Let's what are we it. here for right. otherwise? Exactly. We're just here to <laughs> eat chocolate and drink whiskey yes. and have a good time. Yes. So, all right. So the first one that we are going to taste whiskey wise is going to be cast 55.66, all things nice. And it looks like this. And this is in our spicy and sweet flavor profile. This is a 13-year yeah. space side and a first fill expert barrel. So I have that poured. So what Damn. is going to be the first bond? So find yourself strawberry balsamic and oh. lemon bar none. Oh, all right. There's lemon. Yeah. Oh, all right. I got them. 
Yeah, so then just <laughs> so open cute. Boxy. It's so cute, isn't it? Every one of them. So, I mean, it's so fun to like see who's packaging these, open them individually, know what you're having so you're not having like this guessing game. Yeah. yeah, so just open up his little arms like he instructs you to. And then you can slide out your bond with no damage. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Look how cute yeah. this is. You oh went with gosh, strawberry balsamic like, first. So great, right? It is like a little, I mean, it's like, it even, it even says bonjour on the bottom. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So you can see on the bond, on the bottom of every one of these is our, you know, our signature logo and things like that is bonjour is on every single one of these, which oh are handmade. Gosh. Yes. Every one of them is handmade. So awesome that we're able to get that beautiful temper shine. And here we are. Yeah, that is, I'm very excited to, to cut into yeah. that. And uh, I'm going to creep back into our comments here really quick to see sure. so what is, um, if anybody has any of the spicy and sweet or this particular bottle, um, I would love to know which ones you are pouring tonight. Let's see. I have a Catherine has 9.224 Harvest Hayride Happiness. And Things to Watch Later has Frolicking Flavors, 82.33. We have a Cloud Disperser from Jeff. And one of, oh yeah, gosh, there's there's like such a beautiful array of whiskeys yes. being poured yeah. right now around the country. Yeah, really so fun. People. So cool. Yeah, and you honestly, it, this is all on preference. You don't have to pair with a specific thing. You've got whiskey, that's great. You've got chocolate, that's great. What else do you have to do? Right, exactly. Yeah. You just have to, it's, but the trick is, is, and we'll get to this, and actually, let's just get into this. So let's taste this first one. I'm sure. going to go with the strawberry balsamic. And yeah. so should we taste the whiskey first and then taste the chocolate? Or what do you think? Okay. So bonds are a one biter. So it's easiest oh. to really just shoot the whole thing. So I feel like you might want to go <laughs> whiskey, bond shooter, whiskey. Just like okay. sandwich it in there. That's probably okay. going to be your best. All right. Well, I'm going to make a ladylike attempt to, cut it in half to <laughs> you were bold to cut a, it yes a very oh my gosh this is, so good i don't know maybe i, I was gonna share these yeah. but it's hard maybe to. i won't it's maybe i'm gonna to. be a real bad person and not <laughs> you're on live you can't say that because now she knows oh <laughs> okay but okay but i do want to kind of show what the inside of these look like yeah if you can um, so if i can it's fun yeah. That is a strawberry balsamic house made can feature in an olive oil vegan ganache. What? Yeah, so for any of you that do have allergies, uh, Bon Bon does their best to make sure we are allergy friendly. So that is actually a fully vegan Bon. How cool. And I, I, I do awesome. want to ask about like where the chocolate comes from and how you, you know, kind of what, what your approach is on that. But let's taste this first. Sure. Let's go. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, Thank you very much, Victoria, for joining so us this excited. evening. And I'm going to raise this first glass to you. Yeah, <laughs> let's start the right way. All right, tally ho. Mm -hmm. That was the right approach. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh my. Okay. I'm not going to be rude and talk with my mouth full, but I am going to be rude and talk with my mouth full. Um, <laughs> you can, like, this tastes so strawberry, like real. Yes. It's like strawberry jam. Correct. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Mm. It just goes so okay. well. It's so oh bright. Gosh. It's so bright and exciting and, like, really hits oh. you. Like you said, it hits you with that strawberry. It hits you with that balsamic. It's so good. I mean, and that is like so creamy. Yeah. Um, so I'm getting I'm getting some comments coming in too. Oh, <laughs> Bill, are Bill says, crying? Yeah, Bill says, oh baby. So that, <laughs> that was Bill. Bill's first reaction. <laughs> <laughs> and Malty Alti says delicious. I mean, this yeah. is really fantastic. And what I really like about it is you know, that whiskey is is really bold on the palate. Yeah. But you get that that like strawberry almost act like a little like 
extinguisher in a sense. Yeah, it exactly. Just, like, extinguishes it. And then you get that. The chocolate is so creamy. Yeah. Like, I mean, melty, creamy, viscous. Mm -hmm. That's it just like coats your chocolate. entire palate. And like once you bite into that, that can feature, which is the jam at the bottom, it just coats mm. everything. And just like you said, extinguishes anything that's acidic. So good. That is absolutely fantastic. So, yeah. oh my gosh. Okay, I have to like put the other half <laughs> out of my line of vision. <laughs> you've got two to pair with this. So you've got another right. one to go. Yes, yes. And while I, I am, uh, you know, freeing Lemon Bar None from his yes. little pink box. Um, so can can we talk about the chocolate for a minute? Of course. So, tell, yeah. so, so what is like the approach in, you know, do you source chocolate? Like break this down for me. Yeah, so um, Alex has studied so hard and gone to the farms where the cocoa is being processed, grown. She knows the farmers. Um, this is single origin chocolate, uh, okay. similar to how coffee is done. Um, this oh. is coming directly from the source. Uh, we're not going with, you know, that super processed chocolate. So at Bond, we've gotten that single origin and then we blend ourselves here to what we want exactly. So we take a few different versions of chocolate, different percentages, and we blend them to be bonds like perfect thing. Once we get to a milk shell, right. you'll see that blend as well. But um, the point is of our chocolate is that we're not using child labor. We're not using um, poor sourcing. We're using those farmers that are direct and, and you know, they need the help too. And we're there for it. And, oh, sorry, I'm struggling a little to get boxy. Yeah, to get yeah. this one, this one out. All right, he's just gonna come out this side. All right, and so uh, it's funny when you you mentioned blending. So yes, you know you don't think of blending chocolate. I guess you know. I guess for me in the in the world of whiskey, yes, we we think of blending whiskey. Sure. Um, and there are the, the you know the people out there who are are master blenders or in blending and whiskey are are so brilliant, and that is such an art. You know, it's like yes. art and science, and that you know, really come together. And, and so is it the same for chocolate? A hundred percent. You have to it's try not easy, so right? many different, no, you're trying so many different chocolates and, and for most, and most of us growing up eating chocolate, chocolate was chocolate. You had a Hershey's bar, you had a yep. Cadbury bar, you, I mean, that was it. You had chocolate. But what Alex has done is tried all of those chocolates because similar to whiskey, similar to coffee, there are different flavors in every single chocolate you're going to get. Every origin is, is so different. Um, you can pull oaky notes, fruity notes. You can pull all the same things that whiskey does, chocolate does as well. Very interesting. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, the, my husband and I, we always have chocolate in the house. Um, just recently, he's become like chocolate crazy. Like there was one day he ordered like <laughs> pounds of chocolate. To, and I was like, what are you doing? Like, what's Why happening? is this here? And, Right. And, uh, you know, it's when you sit down and you have a glass of whiskey, just to have like even a small piece of like dark chocolate right. with that or like white chocolate, it's, it is just like this beautiful marriage like of flavor. It's a little cap and it's so good. It's so, so good. And so yeah. to like dig a little bit deeper into it and to have a lot of fun with it at the same time exactly. is, is really cool to, you know, be able to do this. So, all right. So I'm looking at this very cute little lemon bar none yeah look at that look at it <laughs> so cute uh so alex's idea on the bonds as well and bond bonds understanding is that we want to take something familiar but make it kind of uncomfortable for you or just like just on that edge of comfort um okay and you know play with those flavors uh which is where you get balsamic and the strawberry who thinks to really put that in chocolate um who thinks that a lemon bar truly goes with chocolate? They go great together. But the point is that you're putting all these elements to this little tiny bond and it becomes this perfect little thing. Right. And it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's for being as, as cute and little as it is, I mean, these things are really jam packed with flavor. There's a lot of flavor in here. Yes. Yeah. Wait till you get to lemon bar. That one might be an easier cut for you. So hopefully you could cut. Okay. That one. Let's see. Yeah. Perfect. I'm going to give her the smaller. Yeah. I'm gonna have to never know. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I feel like this sandwich was a great way to do it. So it goes whiskey, bon whiskey. It was good. It was great. Yeah. 
this is, I'm, I'm excited to taste this one. So tell me exactly what is in this cutie little lemon. Yes. So down bar. at the bottom, you've got a, a graham cracker jandouille basically. And up top, you've got a, <laughs> I saw, I saw the look in the eye <laughs> and a, a lemon curd ganache is on the top as well. You get a little powdered sugar, similar to how a lemon bar would be, and a cute little lemon on top. It's so cute and so little. Yeah, <laughs> so cute. All right, here's to this right. one. Yes, so let me, all right, whiskey first. All right, in goes the bond. Go pour it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That Honestly. is okay. So that's rude. <laughs> it's rude. <laughs> it's so that's good. Rude. <laughs> the acidity of the lemon is just pairs so good. Mm. And there's like, is that the graham cracker? There's like a, yes. a little gritty bit in there that is that like grainy bit. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. So good. That's going to be hard to beat. I know. Don't worry, we gotta make our way down the line. We've only just started. Holy cow! Yeah. Uh, John says we can't even talk. We are smiling so much. Oh, so good. <laughs> I love it. So good. And Charlene says the taste of chocolate. The taste of the chocolate lingers through the next taste of scotch. I think water will be necessary between bonbons. Of course, I would say so. Yes, absolutely. Just with the sugar content that you have in the bonbons, it, it's going to be necessary to clear your palate. Yeah. So we, do, do you have a preferred way of cleansing your palate? Just water? <laughs> Honestly, just water. It's probably going to be your All choice. Right. I mean, I personally would say sparkling water is going to be my choice. Mm. Yes. Okay. And why is that? I think just, just personal choice? preference. Personal preference because you're really trying to like break everything up. You've got chocolate in your teeth. You've got, you've got all of those flavors everywhere. Break stuff up. <laughs> get it out of there. The bubbles get in there. Yes, and, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I can appreciate that. <laughs> and Malty Alti says it's almost like a cheesecake. I could agree on that. Yeah, the ganache is a white chocolate ganache base. So similar to that really creaminess. Yeah, that's a that's a very good good call on that. Mm -hmm. mm. That was that was a good one to say. Uh back home. Mm -hmm. You know cheesecake, you know a lemon bar. How do we make it great? It says, enjoyed the lemon, but the whiskey brought out the white chocolate notes for us. All right. Well, I, I'm I'm pretty happy with this first two. <laughs> we just started. It's pretty stellar. I know. <laughs> I'm like looking at this cute little box yeah. of four more to get into. So. Yes. All right. Well, wow. All right. Well, shall we continue? Started into, right. Yeah. Shall we continue into the next round? Let's get there. All right, so the next whiskey that we are going to be tasting is whiskey that actually sold out today. The last bottle of this <gasps> sold out today. Wonderful so There are news. no more of this, unfortunately. But uh, this is 68.66. This is called Insanity Dram. And this is an 11-year Highland and a Richard Hogshead at 58.3% ABV. I love the name on this one. So fun. Yeah, and when I poured this in my glass, because I, so the, the first one that we just tasted, I have tasted that one ahead of time, but I have not tasted these last two ahead, or, you know, until now. Um, oh. And when I poured, yeah, I wanted it to be a surprise. Uh, but when I poured the whiskey in the glass, I mean, the color of this matches our, I know it's probably kind of hard to tell. I was going to say, can camera, you kind of see it? Yeah, the <laughs> color really does match the color strip of the flavor profile. Absolutely. Uh, which I, yeah, have not quite seen before. So really in comparison to, to the three before. that I see in front of me, it is, it is definitely matching to, to its color range right there. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the color of this is just, I mean, yeah. it's almost pink. There's almost like a pink hue to it. Yeah. Really cool. So, all right. And what is everybody pouring for deep, rich and dried fruits? We have, Ooh, Inferno toffee pudding. Ooh, I have that somewhere ooh. up there. I have, oh, it's right. It's right there 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 it is <laughs> i gotta i gotta revisit that one and we have ooh 30.118 head in the clouds that one was really good and ernie has jam-packed with darkness 
and ooh, Catherine and a tap as far. That one was outstanding. I don't think I have any of that one left. Look at your beautiful uh, wall behind this, you of all of this whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Like you, I'm sure, have like, you know, a sea of bonds in front of you every day. I just have to have every a day. sea of whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> you, have to, you have to really pinch yourself sometimes when. A hundred percent. Like this is work. Every day I go and do this and it's like a dream. It, it really is. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's definitely a blessing for sure. Yes. All right. And so what two bonds are we going to be pairing with? Okay. I'm going to give you one. two of my like top favorites. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You're going to want <laughs> Better Butter Crunch. Okay. Better Butter Crunch. Okay. And Rustler. The Rustler. Ooh. Now you, I want you to pick which one you want to go with first. Oh, I don't want to be, wait, I don't want to read. I don't want to read left or right. We're going to do better butter crunch. I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me. Yeah, pop his little arms out. Yep. Yeah. Him from his confines of this very cute box. Yeah, so the difference with this bond versus the other bonds that we tried, this is a solid piece bond bond. So when you open oh. it up, you're actually just going to see the bottom of the standard bond. So those solid pieces get flipped over so you can really see that cute little bonjour on the bottom. All right. I'm going to have to bust him out. Flip him. <laughs> He's got to get out of there. <laughs> oh, so pretty. Yes. Oh, is there salt? Is that like a little... Oh, you are there? not oh, even prepared. Okay. It's so good. Okay. Yeah, so give you an idea. This is a solid piece with milk chocolate in the center. Um, we use, Michigan's got a um, better made potato chips that we grind up, super salty. Yes. And then on the bottom is Malden salt. So good. Oh my gosh, it's whiskey. Oh, oh my gosh. I know. Wait, there's, there's potato chips in here? There's a plentiful amount of potato chips in there. So whiskey and potato chips. Uh, I mean, okay. honestly, think about it like salty and sweet. It's such a beautiful pairing. I'm excited. So I have to, I do, I do have to talk about this whiskey for a quick second yes. just because I have not, this is my first time even getting my nose into the glass. Yeah. And the nose on this, I don't know if anyone who is here with us tonight has this at home, uh, but the nose on this is crazy. I mean, I, I almost am thinking like, there's almost like a, I know this sounds weird, but like an apple cider vinegar note. A hundred percent. I Yeah, I was reading the label after I had tried this. I gave a little sneak peek of this to be able to pair the bonds how I wanted to. And there is definitely like a pickle note, like that vinegary oh, pickle. that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So when you think like potato chips, like you're sitting at a bar having peanuts, potato chips, salty. And it's just yeah. like so great. I mean, yeah, there is like, and now I can't get that out of my head. It's like pickled. Yeah pickled whiskey that's so good can you pickle a whiskey i don't know i don't right. know oh yeah the nose on this is wild all right i'm gonna give this a taste oh, so good. oh wait i gotta cut my bond <laughs> i've been enchanted by this glass of whiskey all right yeah you got pulled in by this whiskey now you gotta you i really did it. oh the inside of this looks really good okay <laughs> All right, I'm giving it a taste. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. It's whoa. bold. Whoa. This is like sorcery. Probably my favorite pairing that we're going to have. Oh my God. Evening. I have to leave. Mm, I've got to go. I have to leave. I hope everyone has a great night. You'll tap it out. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's such a outrageous. beautiful thing. Yeah. Okay. The texture alone. I'm sure, people can hear me crunching. I know the you guys texture probably hear me alone crunching on potato chips. Is, I mean, just on texture. Even if I couldn't taste anything, just the texture of this is a dream. Yeah. And that like extra hit of salt that you get 
straight yes. on your tongue because it's on the bottom as you're biting straight on the tongue it is so good and it really helps break this like i would call Holy it a pickly or a vinegary um is what i get from the whiskey so it's just paired together it's it's truly like sitting at a bar having whiskey and just peanuts and chips and you know all those good bar things wow yeah uh bill says uh wow that is a flavor bomb and that he's feeling a little emotional after that one <laughs> it's okay to have a good cry over chocolate you're allowed to <laughs> that is ridiculous you know in, in whiskey i'm i'm such a like if a whiskey doesn't have a good texture to it like i i love like really oily viscous like totally gets into every nook and cranny yeah. of, of your palate um you know but in in food too texture is just like I can have like the most amazing soup and there's no texture sure. and I'm like, well, it sucks. Exactly. Uh, just because I think it's so important. Um, there are, so there are these, these two desserts that I've, I've had over the years and they're my favorite because they have that like little bit of grit to them. So here in the South, we have this grocery store called Publix. Um, mm -hmm. They make cannolis and I, well, cannolis <laughs> are, oh, don't get me started but the the cream that they use inside has this just lovely gritty texture to it yes and i love i like i don't care about the shell i just want to eat the inside of it um and then there was this bakery out in la where we just moved from and their the frosting that they would use on their cake also had that same kind of texture and this bond just reminds me so much of that just feeling of you know eating something so delicious that yeah. you love for like whatever particular reason and it's this is out just out, outrageous i would adore okay. having a good <laughs> uh chunk of parmesan with that like beautiful crystals with yeah. all of these three together it would just i could be happy for the rest of my life oh my gosh yeah, yeah. and the, the whiskey is quite like vegetal in a way i'm getting like big yes. vegetal notes on the palate on this and then to have that with it, it just, it's like just night and day. They just dance yeah. really beautifully. And the way, it, like, you've, like you've said, they just cover everything on the palate. You really got to chew this um, Butter Butter Crunch to be able to get it to dissolve throughout your mouth. So it's just like a slow process with this one. And it's great. Yeah, but I like that. It almost forces you to like, take a minute. Like, take the time with the whiskey and then let it go. Right, yeah. and then sit and take the time and like chewing this delicious morsel of heaven. Yes. And potato chips. Oh, wow, that is ridiculous. If you could so, ever get your hands on them, better made potato chips. Wait, do those come in like a tin? Yes, the yellow tin. It's like yellow? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, okay. My mom, like growing up, my mom had yeah. one of those tins that she kept yeah. like dog biscuits in or something. Actually, I think she still has it. <laughs> it ends up being like a sewing kit or gym. something. Yes. Right. All right. Well, I'll have to look for those to try those. Yeah, yeah that that is fantastic. Whew. All right. Um, I do have a question as we're, I'm going to unearth the wrestler here out of yes. this little box. Um, but um, so I was reading a story about how Alex kind of started the you know, the, the company and yeah. there was something about a, a taxi accident yeah. or something yeah. like what that what, happened to her. What the heck is that? <laughs> Alex is like the bravest, kindest human to the fact that she was like, yeah, there was a taxi accident and I'm going to start a business, <laughs> like a good business. <laughs> like that's just Alex. That's Bon Bon. She takes something that like isn't wonderful and just like runs with it and is like bright and loving and is like, I'm gonna make something great out of it. That is I love that. Alex. Yeah. I, I love that attitude. I mean, that's like stuff you see in like movies. Yes, like Hallmark movie. That is Alex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's a Hallmark <laughs> yes. Movie. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she she's definitely like she's the type of person. So when you think of Bon Bon and you're seeing all of these these beautiful products yeah. that are coming out these bright products, these exciting things, the branding matters, everything matters, Alex. So that, that taxi accident is all, this is bomb. You know, that's how it just fell into place. How crazy. I mean, yeah. what a story. Yeah. So it's, it's definitely a way to make a, a memorable start to a business for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's, you can't make that up. 
Nope. That is, that is not something any <laughs> PR company can do for you. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're in a Hallmark movie and it might be a thing. Well, right, right. <laughs> yes. Well, this is better than a Hallmark movie, I'll tell you that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So what what is what is this? You're on to wrestler, what? which is another fully vegan bond. So when you okay. get into this one, you're working with a caramel ganache which is actually the combination of the caramel and the ganache, which makes sense. And then you've got a rustler cookie. So similar in the realm as like a Samoa Girl Scout cookie is this flavor that you're going to get. You're going to get like warm coconut, just like so ooey and gooey. That same way that the, the Butter Butter Crunch forces you to really take time to chew this one. The same is going to happen wow. with rustler. So it really takes time. It's good. Mm. Uh, my my mother actually just chimed in, you mm. know, as moms do, and we were talking about the potato chip tin, and my mom still has it in her cupboard full of dog biscuits. So yes, mom, you've done it. So. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go, gotta go find this chip. <laughs> all right, so, good. so um, all right, whiskey bond, whiskey bond. All right, here I go. I'm ahead of you. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. The well, bite. It's totally different. Way different in the realm that have uh, two very different bonds. Whoa. That one just like yeah. explodes. Yes. It's like it's truly what you anticipate it to be based off of smell up front. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna read the description on yeah beauty little ranger cookie caramel ganache with coconut and oats mm -hmm. chocolate drizzle so what kind of oats is this like oatmeal oats is this yeah like quick yeah, oats just oats quick oats just mm -hmm. wow yeah and so and, when and that's, oh sorry go ahead you're okay and that's a part uh, that pairs with whiskey so well is oats kind of really go well together so this one it's just like with such a bold whiskey that's it's just like a hand-in-hand -hand pairing yeah I, I there have been times that i have put some whiskey in my oatmeal i uh 100 would agree with that so very good yeah so i i definitely uh i get it yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so um you, you've spoken on how some of these are completely vegan so if somebody came in to the shop or ordered online would they be able to order like a full vegan kind of flight of of bonds yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we always have um, bonds that are available in a variety. So we've got vegan, we've got, we make sure that some are halal, we have, we have some that are, um, you know, white chocolate based, some that are milk chocolate based, some that are dark chocolate, it just depends on where you want to go, what your allergies are, we have nut free options as well. Um, and we definitely have like ones that are like, truly not based. So there is just always a respect for allergies and preferences that we, you know, we try to put out, especially we have collections that come out as well beyond our classic bonds we're trying only our classics right now we have spring okay. collection coming out very shortly here highly recommend a pre-order on those because they're so bright they're so fun um but we do have a fully vegan collection that comes out actually i think you can probably i don't know if you can see this little over here that was a fully vegan collection so for those oh, that wow. you know, yeah that was it was truly everything was vegan so for those who have a restriction in diet we can respect it so very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was looking at some of the, um, I, when I was kind of cruising through the website, I love that. So like, you know, at the society, we're always about fun and cheeky names, you know, for, for our whiskeys and because it's, <laughs> it's, it's whiskey and it's meant to be fun yes, and enjoy it. It's meant to, yes, absolutely. And so when I was looking to the website and seeing you guys do something, you know, kind of similar, that you give these little collections, you know, yeah. fun names like breakfast in bed bonds and cutie fruity Ooh, bonds. And yes. um, there was, oh, I, there was one that I was like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. Valentine's like, Day bonds. collection. Like, like it pushes yeah. the limits. It's so cheeky. It's so fun. Like cheeky is a perfect way of explaining it. Um, every one of those bonds just really kind of pushes your limit on, and it's exciting. So somebody did ask, um, are bonds on the website marked? marked as vegan so like it will say on the website like if you're yeah. to the website or okay 
Yep, everything is your all of your ingredients are listed on there as well. And you can also buy it'll like you have a drop down of saying like, I'd like nut friendly or nut free. So we can make a collection for you of those specific restrictions. Okay, awesome. Yep. And uh, Malty Alty is asking, how about a bonbon package delivery of the month club? Listen, I'll put in the good word. <laughs> I love that idea. I think that is <laughs> so wonderful. Yeah, no, I'll definitely put in the good word for sure. All right. Well, if you go, if you go for it, let us know, and we'll make sure that Malty Alfie gets that first. I that mean, I will sit box. with you guys monthly and and have whiskey and bonds. <laughs> That's fine. We really, we really should, <laughs> and then hopefully we could just do this in person one day and just do like a massive bond and whiskey fest. That sounds like a dream. Yeah, it does sound pretty awesome. All right, so we are cruising into the last pairing. Yeah, which is the very most sad. bold to me. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm very excited for this one. It's always it's always interesting, you know, like in, in the pairings that I've done in the past. We did a charcuterie uh, pairing, and then we did a cheese pairing. I saw um, the Erica, cheese. Oh, cheese. I was yeah, so envious. She's, she's the best. Um, and it was just really interesting. I was that I think is the one that I'm always the most excited for is to just see what somebody would pair with peated whiskey. Um, yeah. Because in pairings that I've had in the past, or you know, at tastings, that it just it varies so so widely. Um, and sometimes I'm like, why would you pick that? And then I taste it, and I'm like, oh okay, I, I ah, get it. I get it. That, I get yeah, it. I get it. <laughs> and you know, some things that seem like they would be you know common or, or you know things that you would just think of you know would go together well yeah. don't and so it's, it's always really interesting because this is always the one I'm, I'm most excited for so. yeah the two bonds the last remaining two you've got s'mores and you've got pudge frowny they're gonna do the same thing as the last and they're gonna be very different okay yeah so you can All pick right, which one you want to start with let me jumble them up while i'm doing that um it's well, we have some questions. So Bill's okay. asking, are the chocolate types interchangeable with each bonbon design? So the fillings in the shell themselves stay together in a collection. They're paired for a reason. Okay. Yeah. And speaking of cheeky, I just poured a dram of cast 66.164. I like big butts. That one <laughs> so is... cheeky. It goes together. <laughs> so delicious. <laughs> and we got Smoky Maritime Pit from Jeff. And Charlene says these could be dessert after charcuterie, and I agree completely. Could you imagine that like charcuterie up. cheese and then bond? Oh yes, my gosh. we actually really close to our shop in Detroit. We have a really wonderful charcuterie shop, so it's like you can make your way to get all your little picnic goodies and then walk over to Bon Bon. It's great. And get, if that's. I think we need to put on like an in-person tasting of just meat, cheese, and bonds. Great. We have to bring Erica <laughs> along too, of course. Yes. <laughs> All right. So the first one I picked, oh, I don't even know. I'm just opening without looking. Is the Pudge, the Pudge Frowny. It's going to be. Pudge Frowny. He's got his little sad face. So just like Boxy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so cute. Oh, let's see. I don't know if you guys can see this. He's perfect. Look at his frowny face. Little Pudge Frowny. Oh my gosh. How cute. Yeah, and the idea behind Pudge is that we're, we're mimicking like a really deep, dark chocolate brownie. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to chop your little face in half. Sorry, <laughs> friend. <laughs> He's sad already. Right? Oh, yeah. Look, that, that looks yes. delicious and dense and yummy. Mm -hmm. So on the bottom of that bond, you're <gasps> going to get a strip of sorghum which is really oh. similar to um, flavors like molasses. It's that really oh, oh, rich. Oh, yeah. I can see it. Can yeah, you can you see it down there? Yeah. yeah. This, it's really this, um, oh. very rich, almost kind of um, bitter molasses flavor. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. Just the smell of this. I mean, just smelling this alone smells like just a big old thick, Brownie. batch of brownie yes <laughs> and on the top here you've got a walnut jandouille and, and again this one is a fully vegan bond this one's vegan yeah yeah it's it's all the ones that you've tried so far that are vegan it is very uh, often that we get wait this is vegan 
because if you do yeah. well, it's great yeah I would, honestly if I had just tasted these and had to pick I couldn't yeah I would not know the difference Let's see, I had a question. Can you please ask what people think? We are also comparing to Ian Burnett chocolates. I've never heard of that before. Well, I haven't either. All right. All right, give them this a taste. Mm, here we go. Ooh, delicious, peaty. Oh yeah, straight up. This. Oh, yum. It's warm. It's good. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't know what to say sometimes. Sometimes you, you know, don't like, have to. You want to like blurt things out, but then I want to be professional. But <laughs> that's really, yeah fudging good exactly it is just like <laughs> it's so rich against that smoky its point is is you're like oh my gosh in a by christmas by a christmas treat you're just like warm you're enjoying it wow it's so good that is that is just heavenly and charlene mm -hmm. uh wrote too so good with the peatiness that this is fabulous yeah i agree charlene this is delicious and that that there's like a there's a textural element to this too that is really really nice yeah that's what the walnut that? jandouille that you're getting that texture from a jandouille is just um Please chocolate explain, yep that is <laughs> that um, like <laughs> <laughs> um chocolate that is mixed with nuts or some type of seed so what you see uh nutella is nutella is technically a jandouille um mm. including a lot of sugar but this walnut version it's it's walnuts. It's dark chocolate. Jean Duya. Yeah. I like that. I'm just going like, to say so that fancy. Now. Yeah. I'm not going to say Nutella anymore. Yeah. Can you go pick up the Jean Duya from the market? Thanks. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And uh, I just saw Malty Ulfie says, so good out of this world. This should go with an old and dignified. Yes. That would be a fun pairing uh, to do an old and dignified with. I'm going to have to get more old whiskey. Pudge. Yes. Oh, no, we're, we're definitely going to have to do this again. Uh, please. This should be like a do. seasonal thing. We have so many more bonds, and, like, you have so much more whiskey that we can I just, know. we can really have fun. It, it could really be, like, a never-ending, because we're always 100%. getting new whiskeys, and I'm sure we're all always the baby getting new bonds. are crafting new bonds. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a really a super cool thing. I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah, we actually all get to have uh, an opinion and recommendations, so there's always new and interchanging bonds that are involved okay so do you have like a core kind of group of bonds yeah. that are always there we do we have a, a core selection then we have um we also have a zodiac bond that is always on season as well uh we have a okay. seasonal bond so for the season we have one and then we also have a bond of the month that is always on um so okay. really there's a variety you honestly you can't get bored i work with it every day and i never get bored of them so it's great uh, uh, that's how it is for me too. It's, it's, yeah, it's impossible because every every bottle is a surprise, right? So that's yeah. We're definitely gonna have to do this again. Selfishly, I'm just gonna. No one can show up. I just uh, listen. I'm here for it too. So, <laughs> but if if you all out there like, this, <laughs> but if you want to, you want to do come it again. Us. Yeah, yeah <laughs> let's, do it, let's do it again. <laughs> all right, let me unearth this. So what's the what's your your favorite bond that's ever been made? Okay, my favorite of all time, PB and Jam, which yeah? is just like the most classic peanut butter and jelly. It is so good to me. It's such like it like chocolate brings me to my childhood, and that's what I want. That's yeah. what I think of is this peanut butter and jelly. It just hits like all of the right notes. It's so good yeah. to me. Yeah, all time favorite. What kind of jam is it? Strawberry jam? It is jam. a strawberry confiture. That's controversial. Some people are grapes. Some people are strawberry. It is a strawberry mm. confiture. I feel like with a PB and J, which there are times like you're just like, I don't want to make dinner. I'm just gonna have a PB and J. Yeah. Like I'm I gonna have that. a peanut butter jelly. Right. It 
it hits the spot every time. Yeah. And but I, I'm like, I love jam just on anything. Like Same. I'll put jam and I'll dunk my cheese in it. Like I just yes. love jam on everything. Um, and so I like to have, I have like 10 different open jars of jam in my fridge right now. That sounds like You're a dream to me as well. Jay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If my choice came down to it, I think I might pick like boysenberry jam. Oh yeah. That would be so good. But also, wow. you know, bonds in the future, we, we need other recommendations. Yeah. Well, hey, if uh, you all are listening out there, if you, I would love, please drop in the comments what kind of bond you would like to see. I would um, love to have that. That'd be so great. Yeah. Maybe like, have you ever done like a savory bond? Yeah, actually we have. Um, we have uh, another local company to us as well. We do like an everything bagel, which is really awesome. So it's a cream mm. cheese ganache and then we add everything bagel seasoning. We've also done like a tomato based um tomato based bond, which is really interesting. You never put those two things together and it is actually yeah. so great. Yeah. So we definitely do savory. There's things like um, coming up in the spring collection as a secret. I'm going to give you guys a little exclusive. We have um, Cardi Brie, which is a play on a name, uh, which is going to be a pear cardamom can feature. And then we have a, a brie ganache. So it's like <gasps> it's almost, yeah, so good. Oh my um, gosh. And, and I know. <laughs> Uh, so it plays like sweet savory in that one. It's really good. Oh, man. Yeah. I might have to just come to Detroit for that. <laughs> well, you can pre-order Spring Collection coming really soon, actually. So so you'll okay. see that on the website released. Okay. And it, it's cool. Yeah, so when my, my bonds arrived, they were packed beautifully. Everything was in, in perfect shape. So there's yes. definitely a lot of, of care and attention that goes into packaging all of these i mean these boxes are so tiny and to yes, have somebody cute. do this by hand yeah you know that's that's a lot of work so um a lot of care yeah, goes into every single step like honestly every single step is cared for and made by hand yeah yeah and you can definitely like you you can feel that you can see that it's it definitely comes across and everything i love that all of this is recyclable like that i can uh, get. yeah reuse it you guys that little yeah, the little um, box that you give it, a pencil holder. It's a, a makeup brush holder. It's a knickknack holder. Use it, you guys. We have to pass it along to the crafty kiddo and yeah. see what she can create with that. So yeah. All right, let's see. So a bar barbecue with a peaty scotch. Oh, a barbecue bond. Yes, I can. I can mm. see it. I can see it. Let's see. Huckleberry was what Ernie said. That's a good yes. one. Pudge and Pete is definitely the favorite of the night. So balsamic <gasps> and deep rich and dry fruits was also excellent. Yeah, that's great. That, uh, I don't know, that one with the potato, the better butter crunch. Like, <laughs> I know, it's so like... hard to say. I'm so glad that we got to pick two bonds for every whiskey because it was like, I can't choose just one with these like wonderful whiskeys. We have to do two of them. We have to. Uh, yeah, and I, like I'm going to dream about that bond. <laughs> if you've like had a little nibble of your bond you can go back and do this tasting all over again <laughs> yeah I, that's that's why i was like i'm gonna cut them in half and yeah then i can i can go back and like really put on some music put on the mood yeah, lighting just really, take like, the time get into it yeah <laughs> really get into it so <laughs> and Anne says your devotion to your craft is evident in spades so yeah we love it is, yeah this has been absolutely a treat um, and speaking of treats, this last bond, wow, what a let's cap our night. Look yes. at that. Look at that little marshmallow. It's so cute. <laughs> a hand toasted little itty bitty marshmallow. I can't even stand it. Yes. Ooh. So tell me, what is this? What's in this? Yeah, bottom of this one is a grand crap graham cracker jandouille that's a toasted marshmallow white ganache in a milk shell so good <laughs> so good yeah i don't know if anybody's in the midwest but like right now is a great time for this flavor one we're like in change of weather and when we're in change of weather like every season we're going outside we're trying to have bonfires we're trying to trying to get outside i'm assuming you guys are having some weather changes too Yes, actually, we were under tornado watch earlier today. It was like oh, beautiful perfect. yesterday, stormed <laughs> today here in Atlanta. There was like a tornado watch. It was, oh, it's cool. been great, like, great. and then it was hot, and I don't know what's happening out there. I don't know if anybody um, knows what, what the weather is happening, yeah. but this one is just like, it's perfect. 
I always think of camping. You're going to get it. That's I'm so glad you pulled that together because you're going to get it. Yeah. I mean, you have the peat and s'mores like this is. Yes. This is camping. It's like the most obvious pair and it is so great. Oh, all right. Oh. I mean, <laughs> could it be any more perfect? Okay. That's funny. Somebody who wrote that, Charlene wrote, S'more is way better than the wrestler, is what she said. Oh my goodness. And I was like, oh, don't put it in my head. <laughs> but, I mean, this is, you know, like when you have s'mores like flavored, I don't know, don't they do like a, s'mores oreo and yeah i'm like they're so they're so oh the whiskey sorry i'm just i'm so in in the zone sorry about that the whiskey is 135.38 delightfully grubby okay. uh 10-year highland from one of my favorite distilleries in the whole world um and this is a second fill x bourbon hogshead at 57.1 percent abd sorry about that it's that one. We skipped it. We were too excited. Oh, I know. It's hard <laughs> to like focus on, you know, everything when these are so delicious. But the thing with like s'mores, things that are like s'mores flavored or is they're so sweet, right? Like yes. that, that marshmallow note is like, it almost hurts to enjoy. Yeah, it. like gummy on the teeth. It's it's a lot. Yeah, but what I really lo- love about this, and Malti Alfi said it too, like the texture on this is, and it's not, it's not too sweet. Like it's yes. almost not sweet in a way. Yeah. Like y- you've got to have know, that like, like that graham crafter to like cut that sweetness. But it's like that you really got a perfect balance of of sweetness in this because anytime I see s'mores anything, I'm like, oh gosh, it's just gonna be like sugar. But yes. this wasn't at all. I mean, this was you really tasted that marshmallow, like, but not sticky, stuck to your teeth yeah. kind of marshmallow. It was really beautiful. Paired really with beautiful. paired with this whiskey, it's like I oh I mean, this is this is it. It's the most obvious pairing, and it's also like it's just it's just straight good. It is what it is. I mean, it really is like just very straightforward to the point. Yeah, legend, fantastic. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, not none of them have been unenjoyable to me. I've been no. like no getting to to drink whiskey at the end of my night and eat all of the bonds like what a cool thing it, it and it's and like when i'm trying to go back and think of i i really can't pull out a favorite i mean that butter butter crunch was like i'm gonna just not even include <laughs> that in this because that one has me in my feels but yes i really i really can't pick like i mean each pairing was so amazing in its own you know it, it, it's really hard to to say, well, well, this was my favorite. This one was just okay. Cause there weren't any that were just okay. They were all just really freaking good. <laughs> I love to hear that, you know, it, educating and, and really good high quality chocolate and really great high quality whiskey. That's, you know, yeah, it, it, it matters. It really does. And that's, that's one of the great gifts that whiskey has given me and like being able to dive into the world of whiskey is that like, I look at everything so different now, right? Like even the coffee I drink right. or, you know the the milk that goes into the coffee or yeah. it's, it's like every little thing and it's uh you just you you find a new appreciation or, or more appreciation for for so many things and and chocolate is i mean this has totally just yes i you've heard me talk briefly regarding like coffee and cheeses and and just like putting the time and the effort to getting to learn those things it's so worth it yeah, it, it absolutely is. And it just makes such a big difference. And it only makes it taste better too. Like once you know yeah. what you're what you're eating, what you're drinking, where it's from, how it got here. Um, it, it's like when you're, I guess, like your mom makes you a sandwich, right? It just yeah. tastes a little bit better. It's always better um, when somebody else makes it for you. <laughs> yeah. And so like to to learn about these things and and to to find out the the how, the what, the why, it definitely, I think, you know, adds a little bit of of love exactly and that's the intention it. of bond you know <laughs> you educate with good chocolate that's you know our whole intention yes 
well. This was absolutely amazing. So um, I'm going to give you the floor for a few minutes. Can you tell everybody where to find the bonds, how they can order them, when they can order them, if they are in Detroit, where exactly can they just, yeah. are you guys open Monday through Friday? All those good details. Yeah, so uh, we actually have two locations at the moment, one in Detroit, in Midtown, which is right in the center of Detroit. And then we also have one in Ann Arbor, which is really close to um, uh, Michigan, which is our, our college there. Um, and yeah, either location open Monday through Sunday, uh, you'll find all of our hours listed uh, during holidays We're open for a longer period of time. So if you're traveling to Michigan during the holidays, during our beautiful winters, please, please stop by. Um, otherwise, online, you can um, order at www.bonbonbon.com. And yeah, we have collections there, pre-orders of collections, and just standard bonds. You can order whenever you wanted to. Yeah. Very cool. I, have you ever done a, a bond, like, wedding cake? You know, we're usually, like, wedding favors. We're not a wedding cake, but you never know what the world throws at us. Of, I would want a whole cake of bonds. Like, and then people can just, like, all just different like, bonds. I think that would yeah. be genius. And like, how beautiful could that be? Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I made me think of that, but <laughs> oh man, I support it. Giant take a bond. <laughs> yeah. So standardly wedding favors. You can also order custom bonds as well. So if you have a, like a special event or some, something of the sort, you can create your own flavor combination if, if you wanted it as well. And you can ship to all 50 states. Yes. Yep, it just depends during um, you know hot seasons. We try not to try yeah. not to ship during like incredibly hot. You're not going to get that same product out of it. So we do try during those seasons to ship during specific days. Okay, well that yeah. is very good to know. And let's see, I just want to cruise through the the comments here really quick. Uh, yeah, wonderful evening. Thank you both. Yay! And yeah, being able to join was a grand slam. Thank you, Anne, for joining us. And. Ernie says, often tasting, let's do more of these. So I don't know, we might be on to something, yes. Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> and Malti Alfie said, go Michigan, big game tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, I knew it. I knew I would get somebody. <laughs> and Ernie says, success. First time my wife has loved the peated whiskey. Well done. Well, that is I love very that. exciting. Very exciting. And let's see. And oh, somebody said uh, to do the potato chip bond with a dark chocolate. That was again, I've got the word with the good people, so I definitely could do that. Yeah, so we got barbecue bonds, we got wedding cake bonds, we got yeah, got all we got huckleberry things, jam so. that we got to get somewhere in here. We've got so oh, many recommendations. Right. <laughs> we can do oh, it. And the, the, yeah, bonds of the month. The bonds, bonds of the month. month. We just got to have like a, a shipment that goes out and we just yeah. ship them together. Yep. So I guess keep us in the loop and we'll be able to share it with, with our members. And we can say it started all... here. Right. You, <laughs> you all were part of this. So yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, Victoria, this was an absolute treat. I, I cannot thank you enough for taking the time to come hang out with us and yes. walk us through these incredible bonds. I mean, wow. What? What a way to thank you to for having me. Day. It was so yeah. fun. Yes. This was so, so cool and so fun. And yeah. I, I really, we're going to do this again for sure. In so a heartbeat. We'll have I'll to, be here. Yeah. We'll have to connect and, and find a good yeah. time to do some crazy whiskey and some crazy And thanks bar, for everybody so. that, you know, joined us on the call and commented. It was, you know, it's really fun for us. Yeah. Thank you everyone for taking the time tonight and for everyone who pre ordered and came in, you know ate some good stuff and drank some good stuff with us. So yeah. we appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope everyone has a fantastic evening. Enjoy your chocolate. Enjoy your whiskey. And we'll see you next time.